Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today in FIFA 23, we are expecting to see a feature of Foot Birthday that we have never seen before in this game. And that is with the mini release with more Foot Birthday cards coming to packs. EA have told us about this twin mini release concept where there are going to be two of the exact same player's card in the game. One with five star skills, one with five star weak foot in packs at the same time. That's pretty crazy. We're going to unpack that a bit more today and talk about what to expect content wise today on FIFA 23 because we have some big player SBC leaks. We're going to get another player SBC today as a part of the daily foot birthday player SBCs. And there are some big names that could be dropping as well as could today be an icon pack. I think it's very likely fodder prices could keep going up. We'll talk about that side of the market and everything else right now going on in FIFA 23. So if this video helps you at all today, hit the thumbs up on it. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's first do a little content overview from yesterday on Saturday. Not that crazy of a day, but we got the Rivaldo. This is a very highly anticipated SBC and they dropped it. Four star skills, five star weak foot, the boost that needed to happen for this card. Really good stat boost as well. Still medium low work rates, decent traits, and honestly, the stats on the card look really, really good. This is an SBC that I think is okay value and it has a lot of hype because it finally makes Rivaldo usable in this game. The price point is the only thing I'm not that, you know, excited about. I think the card looks good. I think the stat boost is necessary with the skill move and the weak foot uh, being there. But 1.4 million coins for this card, I just have to be completely honest and say, if this card was on the market, I just don't know if he would be 1.4 million coins. But with that being said, a lot of fodder is going to be attainable via the swaps program. Once we get those packs into the game, upgrade packs, all of the objective packs that are out there, this will be a very craftable SBC. So if you want to do them, if you want to get it done, or if there's like nothing else for you that you want to craft right now in this game, this is definitely not a bad SBC to go and craft. I would just say before doing the big SBC, maybe go get the loan. It's really cheap. It's easy to get. Try them out for a couple of games and make sure you actually like the card before you want to go out and craft them. But that was the biggest piece of content yesterday. We had another token SBC dropped as well. I believe we are up to 14 tokens. I'll leave the link to this tracker down in the description if you want to take a look uh, at some of the tokens that have been released so far and where they're at. 14 total tokens, including the bonuses. And the other thing that we had yesterday kind of a quiet day. Saturdays usually are, but we had a huge pack drop in the store. Now, I don't open a ton of these packs um, because they're just super duper expensive and they're definitely not worth it with coins, but 125 rare gold players in one pack is absolutely crazy, right? 500,000 coins, 3,000 FIFA points, and the pack odds, I mean, it's just kind of crazy to look at these pack odds. I can't believe I'm seeing a pack right now that has pack odds over 3%, almost 4% to pack a foot birthday icon player. Those are insane odds to pack an icon player and 50% chance of packing a foot birthday. So really a crazy pack yesterday, but they make you pay big bucks for it. If you're going to open this, at least wait till after the, uh, the mini release drops in the game today, because that will give you an even greater chance of packing foot birthday cards. So that was kind of the content yesterday. Like we said, pretty quiet day as Saturdays most often are, but today I think is going to be a bit more exciting. And let's talk about this mini release because mini releases are always on Sundays or not always, but most of the time. And since they didn't drop yesterday. We expect it to be today. EA have even told us, and we looked at it in yesterday's video really quick, and I'm only going to touch on, touch on it here again really quick, just because I'm so curious about how this is going to work out, right? Two uh, versions of the same player will be added into packs, one with a five-star skill move and one with a five-star weak foot, each that suits different squad building needs and styles of play, right? And these are the leaked players, again, Darwin Nunez, Koke, and Zinchenko. So my big question marks with this is, are are they going to be dropping a Darwin Nunez with five star skills and five star weak foot with the exact same stats on the same exact card, you know, uh, or is it going to be different stats for each of the two cards? Because as it says here, uh, that suits different squad building needs and styles of play. I'm so curious to see how this works out today. And the reason why this is so big is because I don't think we've ever had a promo or a release where there has been the same version of a player in packs with two different versions at the exact same time time, right? We have icons, right? I mean, you, you have the base and the mid and the prime, like right now, mids and prime icons are both as impact, but technically 
Those are different cards, right? They have different images on the card. They've got different stats. So that doesn't really count the same for me. These are going to be the exact same player as a promo card released in packs at the same time with two different versions. Now, there's going to be a way to tell uh, the, the versions between them. As EA said, there's going to be this little symbol above the overall. So maybe they're going to have to add another card design. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do that. But this is so crazy, and I can't wait to see how it plays out today, especially with Zinchenko and Darwin Nunez a part of this mini release. Some pretty big name players there with some very looked forward to cards on FIFA coming today. Now, some people have asked, like, could this include icons? Would there be icons that are maybe currently in the game for foot birthday that are going to get a new version today? That I don't know about. I'm super curious, guys, to see how this plays out today. But really, what it means is there's going to be more cards and packs, more foot birthdays, and uh, I'm excited to see how this goes down today and you know think about it It might mean double the chance or will it not mean double the chance right I, I really I'm really curious to see how the pack weight changes today as well knowing EA it's probably not going to mean double the chance of packing the player but I'm so curious to see how that is going to look today of course I'm probably going to be opening my foot birthday guaranteed pack and again like I said in yesterday's video I would have uh, urged you guys to do the same thing wait until today to open this because many release cards more options for bigger players in that pack if you were to get so lucky so that's the biggest part of like impacts content that's going to be on the game today now like yesterday like friday daily player sbcs is a part of foot birthday and today we could see a banger right sundays have brought us some big sbcs before this is the biggest leak that we have right now and in my opinion this is on the same level or above the same level in terms of hype as pedri fifa romania and foot sheriff confirming with his retweet leaking that Conte is getting an SBC in foot birthday, right? Conte has not had a ton of special cards this year. Some people have said that Conte has kind of fallen off in FIFA, but his winter wild cards was over a million coins for the longest time. It's been over a million coins since he left PAX, basically. Uh, his card price is down a ton, of course, as you would expect after this league, but uh, this could be a very, very interesting SBC as this would be a card so many people would want to put in their team, but I doubt it would be very cheap. I would expect this Conte to be like it's leaked, 92, 93 rated, above 80 pace, really good defensive stats, and if they would give him 5-star skills or a 5-star weak foot, regardless of which upgrade he gets, going to be a really, really meta card. I kind of hope whatever they give him, they boost the weak foot or the skill of 5-star. I hope they boost the other one up as well, because 2-3 for this card, Hopefully he's like 5-3 or maybe even 4-5 potentially if they were to go ahead and do that. Or maybe if they're going to give him the weak foot, at least give him 3-star skills uh, for a small boost there. But this is massive, guys. Like, honestly, this is an SBC that so many people would want to do. Speaking of his card being down in price, uh, just to kind of show you guys this, this leak came out. He was 1.3 mil. He went all the way down to 900k. Has bounced back up a little bit. But... Uh, I would presume that if they're going to drop a Conte SBC, it's probably going to be around the same price as the Rivaldo, and that would just be even more demand for higher rated fodder. Now, again, it's not confirmed that Conte is going to be today, but... You know, when Conte does drop here in the next couple days, maybe Conte's SBC is not going to be until this next Friday for Team 2. This is just such a massive SBC for a big-name player with such incredible links. So many people want to get in their team. I mean, I would be very tempted to do this SBC. Just be careful because this is an SBC that is upcoming. Now, other SBCs that we still have that are leaked right now, uh, we still have the Ozil, we still have the Disasi, and we still have the Kolasinac, right, uh, for potential foot birthday SBCs coming today. And one of the reasons that that EA might uh, choose to go with one of those cheaper SBCs. They had an expensive Rivaldo yesterday. They had a middle price Pedri on Friday. Today on Sunday is another very common day that we see icon upgrade packs released. Now we have the hero player pick that is expiring today, but remember this hero player pick first came out during the fantasy foot promo when heroes were in packs. I would almost 100% expect today to be an icon pack day because again, EA are highlighting icons right now with the SBCs like Rivaldo with the cards and packs for the foot birthday icons. The only thing that could maybe uh, not go the icon way today is maybe they choose to do a cheap upgrade pack like a mixed campaign player pick or something along those lines like they did last Sunday but I think it is very very possible that we would see an icon pack here in the next uh, day or so on this game and that would mean fodder prices going up even more and that could also hurt some of the market because if you think about 
where we are at right now in this game we have had some of the same icon packs like that 89 plus we have had that um many times in a row now i think it's been three different icon packs in a row we've had that exact same sbc ea need to do something different whether it's a mid or prime player pick whether it's a prime player pick i feel like a prime icon upgrade would not be a step in the right direction as it should be i believe in early march of last year in fever 22 we had the mid or prime player pick a couple of times that was the glitched player pick that gave out the moments uh icons last year um you know in early march of this game and i mean there is a shout that maybe today's upgrade pack could contain team of the year icons since we have foot birthday icons now in the game and you know upgrades to icons a new version would ea start to finally release team of the year icons in an upgrade pack i would say that potential seems very small to me because these icons are still some of the best i mean look at this beckham card right the Mueller, the zanetti the makalele ashley cole is still an insane insane card i feel like it still might be a bit early for some of the team of the year icons to be included in upgrade packs but i feel like a lot of us are ready for that so i kind of hope ea do it also i could see them not doing it um for whatever reasons they're going to say is these cards are still too good to be putting out inside of sbcs but um i do think we'll get some sort of icon upgrade pack if not this week then in the next uh the weekend in the next couple of days so watch out for that today that's a big piece of sunday content along with our daily sbc player and i want to look at fodder because of it right with rivaldo dropping yesterday you saw like we just looked at Lewandowski, these 91 rated cards um, had a bump up in price because I think a lot of people yesterday were going out and buying the high rateds to do Rivaldo because it's like, oh my goodness, finally a usable Rivaldo squad. And that's got these card prices going up. The high tier of fodder, Casemiro, 105K. GG's if you bought those uh, in like 90K on Thursday, right? Courtois and all these 90s are 54K. Guys, these were 47,000 coins on Thursday and Friday. They are a big 80, 89s are 39,000 coins a piece. These guys were 34,000 coins on um, Thursday and Friday as well. So if you bought the high rated fodder, GG's, I'm still holding a lot of it on my transfer list because at this point, it still looks like it can go higher, right? I mean, what supply today, unless EA drops some crazy uh, tradable pack, what supply is going to outweigh the demand over the time of this next week to make these cards go down? I don't think that possibility is really there. I would keep holding your fodder. And on the low tier as well, you know, 84 is 4,000 coins a piece, 83s are 2.1. They're low. They're not super low but they are still low if we're getting daily player species like let's say we get an ozil or a disasi today um or maybe it's a uh, kolasinac right one of those foot birthday player species that has a lot of hype that's a bit cheaper some of this low rated fodder could go up as well so fodder is looking absolutely fantastic at the moment for a hold now the only thing i would tell you today is if you have not picked up fodder yet and you're like nate can i still invest i think the window of opportunity is really shrinking but there's going to be another opportunity early today because think about all of us that have played squad battles in the past week as a part of the footballers promo there are going to be so many packs open this morning uh and early into today on sunday with squad battle rewards being paid out uh, as so many people played squad battles last week and are currently playing squad battles to get the uh, foot birthday guaranteed pack for the objective here and to get all the footballers done so there's going to be supply on the market today get on bids i would really try to get on bids probably with the way the market looks for fodder prices right now stuff that's not up a ton that could still have a big potential to rise i would look at 83s 84s 85s on the bids um, and for the higher rated fodder if you need some 91s try to get some of these guys maybe at like 65k or, or somewhere along those lines because I just think that these guys are going to end up going higher as we head throughout the week with so many high rated squad requirements out in this game so fodder is looking lovely if you invested in it, especially on the really top tier I can't believe that Thomas Muller's foot birthday card is now fodder that's crazy because his price has dropped off that might be worth a club stock as well in the low 60s this morning um, if that's something that you would like to do with your coins now let's talk about the rest of the market let's talk about these foot birthday players um, as well because as expected they have dropped off Bernardo Silva was one point one last night he's now 900k some of these icons have taken a big tumble in price like look at best's graph yesterday um saturdays are always great for trading with cards that are pretty rare or pretty expensive from the brand new promo team because they're still rare enough that they uh, don't have a ton of supply yet so their prices move and bounce uh but they're also you know in packs and supplied and people are trying them out so there's a lot of potential for, for fluctuations george best went from 3.1 mil saturday morning down to 2.4 g 
GG's if you bought down here. He went all the way back to 27 right after content and then has kind of dropped down slowly since. Still about 2.6 million coins. But a lot of these guys dropped. Emerson 100k, Kumins 540, Mateus, Cantona, Marquinhos is down big. Joao Felix is finally down to a price that's way more reasonable. This card is really rare, guys, but I'm telling you, like I said in yesterday's video, this guy is just so overpriced that it's crazy to me how it can be such a small upgrade over the um, the winter wild cards that he has and uh, how his price can be so inflated for that small upgrade just for the five star five star and uh for the chelsea links that he has so that's kind of you know where these cards are at for me right now they're down i do believe they will fall further so just be careful if we have any of them i wouldn't hold on to them for too long um especially with the big uh content that could be upcoming if we get a conte sbc guys i mean i really believe that that conte sbc could uh, really change the landscape of a lot of player prices on this game. That would um, that would really hurt a lot of mid to top tier midfielders. Uh, I know we're kind of talking about this, going back to the same um, concept, talking about Conte again, but I really feel like a lot of your midfielders that are on this game, mid to high tier, would take a huge hit, um, especially if they're French. Maybe like you know Vieira special cards, um, you know maybe even some more expensive midfielders like the Goretzka. A couple versions that he has. Those guys would definitely take a hit if a Conte SBC was released at a good value with good stats um, and a craftable price at least. So that's a, I mean, huge, a huge SBC that is upcoming. But every single day that we get player SBCs on this game for the next week, we saw a little bit with Pedri, right? We saw Araujo, we saw Usman Dembele, and some of those Barcelona cards go up. If the player SBC value is good or if it's just a player that is like a huge name, like Pedri is just a massive name, right, as an up-and-coming star in, in football, watch out for the links because they will rise. Araujo was 750k and he's up over 100,000 coins. Usman Dembele, I believe, I kind of want to check his price right now, but I believe he is still up a good amount as well. He was like 500k before he dropped. What is Usman right now? Usman is still 600k. So big rises on hype SBCs for links to those cards are very, very possible. Now, if we have like a Kolasinac today, who would go up because of that? You know, you think of like Alexis Sanchez. Um, usually the prices that rise uh, are the most meta cards that link to that brand new card that has been dropped. And Alexis Sanchez is, of course, a live card. Um, 600,000 coins, I believe, for him. Right now at the moment, still live with potential to upgrade a little bit more to get a plus two on top of the plus two he's already gotten. But this is a super duper meta card, right? And if we have a Colossinac today that is really good value, that looks cracked, people might want to buy this um, to go and link with that Colossinac card. So that's the sort of stuff I'd watch out for on the market today. And then watch out for foot birthdays as well. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this Emerson Royale right back card, which is lovely to hear as a Spurs fan. I can't wait to try to pack him from upgrade packs this week or maybe get in my guaranteed but i hear great things about this card um and you know if there's supply today with the squad battle rewards supply dropping on the game today definitely look out for the potential to flip with some of the foot birthday cards uh in this game today as well the rest of the market seems to be doing pretty healthy seems to be moving pretty pretty good or uh fluctuating a decent amount and it's not like prices are still are crashing or anything like that with the promo that we have had um you know a lot of people are saying man these cards just look still pretty mid and stuff like that so the market is still really really healthy um you know the one thing i would say is be careful with some of these fantasy cards and some of the road to the finals because yes i know the games are upcoming in the next week um but foot birthday swaps leaks uh, I want to talk about this really quick to end the video. Footshare, I've tweeted about this yesterday. We still don't have the exact swaps rewards uh, leaked, all of them, right? And they're going to be out in the game tomorrow. So EA have really, really done a good job of keeping this under wraps. But a one of five player pick with Road to the Final, Fantasy Foot, Fantasy Foot Heroes, and Foot Birthday Team 1, that is going to be a very popular option out of the foot birthday swaps program like i'm tempted right now looking at that you've got two three different types of live cards with road to the finals fantasy foot and fantasy foot heroes kind of reminds me of that uh player pick that had like winter wild cards and stuff like that in it i think that was back during future stars swaps like the one of five player pick then that also included some of those different heroes in it so that's a really popular option i think for a lot of people and even a one of four 90 plus icon which yeah there's a lot of 91 and 90 rated icons as uh, Weaver is here tweeting to Sheriff, like, these could be really, really bad. 
But at the same time, that could be a really, really good um, icon pick as well. Um, and then he, he tweeted that he thinks Shearer is going to be either an SBC or a Swaps Rewards card. So uh, just kind of keep an eye on some of those live cards. If they do release this as a Swaps Reward, obviously it's not going to bring a huge amount of panic to those. But... It could bring an opportunity where if you see a little bit of a dip, maybe there is potential uh, to buy some foot fantasy cards maybe as we head into this week before the games kind of restart next weekend at the beginning of April. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. And hopefully we get a full leak for the swaps program very soon because I know a lot of us uh, are really interested as we have had 14 tokens released now. We're like ready to spend our swap tokens. Uh, and that is going to start tomorrow on Monday. We'll talk more about that in the video tomorrow. But hopefully we get some more news, some more leaks and uh, information about that. But today should be at least more exciting than yesterday on Saturday with a mini release and the twin release concept dropping on this game. Maybe an icon pack. Maybe a big SBC like an Ozil. Maybe a big SBC like a Conte. Should be a fun Sunday today on FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the day today, hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you do have any questions or comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan, but account and catch you guys there. Peace out.